Hey there, folks. Uh, yep, another talker. What can I say? Life happens. Excrement occurs. Tonight, I'm going to do one of my tidy reviews, and I'm going to review the movie Super 8. Uh, the movie has an interesting pedigree because it's co-produced by Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams, uh, which means it's a smaltzy, feel-good movie uh, with a lot of children on bicycles that is also uh, effects-heavy and has a lot of really good visuals. Uh, and uh, it, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, a lot of people really like the movie. I'm still processing it, I think, but there's some parts that don't quite make sense. And uh, it is my curse to notice such things consciously and be bothered by them. Uh, and uh, because it's Spielberg, it, it is fairly obvious in its attempts to uh, tug on those old heartstrings. But, hey, it's Spielberg. You know, the, the, the thing about Spielberg is that he can do that and get away with it uh, when, when, when he's firing on all cylinders. I mean, all his great movies like Close Encounters and E.T., they're just as obvious in how they pull your heartstrings. Just, it works. Anyway, plus I, 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 I like the cast, the kids. Uh, the basic plot is some kids are making a movie in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, which the... Uh, which means that instead of being set in the 80s, 50s, uh, like all the 80s Spielberg movies were, this one is set in the 80s, 2015s, early 80s, 2015, that kind of thing. But, hey, I enjoyed it. That's my childhood, actually. <laughs> so I guess it's, we're getting to that point. Or things that look like my childhood, or what uh, public nostalgia starts to look like. They had lots of great sort of uh, nostalgia porn for me. Like the kids singing My Sharona, and uh, the, uh, the gas pumps that go ding, 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 as the, as the gas pours in. And stuff like that. It all looked very familiar, and I enjoyed that. But... Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like there's, there's uh, an awful lot of emotion and some great acting by the young cast. I mean, just superb. Uh, but the story's a little on the thin side uh, when, when, you, when you have time to, to stop and process everything. So while I, I, I enjoyed the movie, uh, it's not the sort of thing I really feel the need to ever see again. Uh, and I guess that's one definition of whether a movie is good or great. Uh, so, basically, my encapsulated review is um, a good movie, but not a great movie. A movie that you'll really enjoy while watching it, but not necessarily feel you need on your shelf. Now, if you're younger than me, Especially if you're closer to the, to the middle school age of uh, the middle school age of the uh, the cast, uh, you may have a totally different experience because you're not old and jaded like I am and seen haven't seen a zillion Spielberg films. And I hope, I really hope, that for you, this movie is, is as as magic as E. T. was for all us '80s kids. That movie changed my life. That movie was filled my entire mind when I was a kid. And when E.T. is sick uh, and the military's got a hold of him and all that, uh, I just about just that just about broke me. So if this movie can do that for you, ignore everything a jaded old fart like me says. Enjoy that movie, love it, and never let it go. But from my point of view, it was good, 
but not great. Well, that's it for me for tonight, folks. I will talk to you nice people again tomorrow. Bye-bye.